Welcome to another episode of A Nerd, A Basement, A Computer. And no, I don't actually live down here. Or, or do anything down here. Ever. Hi, I'm Jerry. And in today's episode, I will be demonstrating how to dust your desktop PC. To keep it running smoother and make it last longer. Now, it's not something that needs to be done often. I would recommend about twice a year. But overheating is the number one cause of component failure in any computer. And dust buildup is a huge part of that problem. Now as for tools, you're going to need one delicious can of compressed air and some tools. Now really that's too many, you probably only need a flathead and a Phillips, but you get the idea. Now step one is to disconnect everything from the computer. Uh, preferably with the power off, or you're going to end up with a whole new set of problems. Okay, so this next step is a little bit different for every computer, but it's generally made to be easy by, by most manufacturers. Um, you basically need to take out the side panels and the front panel oh, to get access to the insides. It's already very dusty. Thing. Probably actually do this more than I'm saying I should. But. Now, for this type of thing, you want to keep it upright because dust settles, and you don't want it settling back on to the stuff you just dusted because that doesn't help anybody. Yeah. Uh, it looks complicated, but they've actually made them a lot easier in the last few years, so you know, they're pretty easy to clean. Don't be afraid to open it up and spray around in there. Okay, so proper use of compressed air is uh, pretty important to this process. Most people just want just wanna to hold it down and let it go and just spray and move it around. Um, that's really not the best thing for you to do for it. It's short, short bursts and not too close. Also, never, ever, ever hold it upside down or you end up with like this. And that will kill everything in your computer. So, and your fingers if you get it on it. Okay, so here's the power supply. Um, this is probably one of the more important things that you need to, to dust out. Um, it's not looking too bad right now, but inside it could be a mess. And when the power supply dies, nothing else will work. And it won't appear that way all the time either. It just won't start up or it'll randomly shut down sometimes when it overheats. It's uh, it's hard to know exactly what's wrong with it so it's good to keep it clean. Now this is the top of the video card. Um, it's pretty important so you can actually see uh, your computer. Um, there's only a thin layer of dust here but you'll want to clean it off. But if you move down and under to the fan and the heat sink, you can see a decent amount of dust is collecting right there. And that's something you're definitely going to want to clean off. Now again, these hard drives are not too bad, but what starts out as a layer of dust only gets worse. And because they're right in front of the fans, they get the brunt of whatever comes in. Uh, generally you're going to want to clean these off because they're the thing that holds everything on your computer, as everybody knows most people know and uh, when these overheat and fail you're gonna have a bad time now here you can see that the front pans are kind of a mess um, I'm lucky enough to have gotten a case with filters in it most people probably don't have them and all that would be sitting in my computer somewhere right now so I seriously should do this more often Now this is the major component. This is the processor and the processor's heat sink and fan. Um, this is very important. Every time you open up the case, even if you're doing something else like connecting some wires, you might as well just try and, try and spray this one off. This is where the biggest overheating problems can occur. Um, generally short little spurts into the heat sink. 
Should get some dust flying out, as you can see right there. Now, now that you've cleaned most of the main components, actually all the main components, uh, it's not bad to go over, just give it a good once over, and stuff will settle down to the bottom, like whatever that looks, see it look. My god, I'm not even sure how it got in there. There was definitely a dead bug in my computer. I guess it could have gotten in a whole bunch of ways, but uh, that kind of thing can also destroy your precious little machine. Now see the can's starting to feel really cold, which means I know I'm either getting toward the end or I've been using it way too fast. I don't want to do anything stupid. So I think that'll uh, that'll just about sum up uh Go away kitty. Well that was the uh the simple version of cleaning your computer. Obviously it can get a lot more complicated than that. Each one of those little components can be taken out. All the wires have to be disconnected, all that fun stuff and when you become a mega nerd, uh, maybe you'll do it too. But I'll have this computer for another four or five years working perfectly instead of it slowly going downhill before I decide to get another one. Um, or longer, it doesn't pour. Uh, now for laptops, um, they're much more complicated machines. You're gonna wanna take those probably to a professional because you're not gonna have a fun time taking it apart and putting it back together and cleaning it. Um, it's best left up to somebody who's gonna put some warranty on that. Uh, if you have a Mac, even if it's a desktop Mac, I, you already know that you're gonna just go buy a new one. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my demonstration. I, or if not enjoyed it, I hope you learned something. And uh, in the next episode, I'm gonna show you how to, like, I don't know, Take off this little hinge thingy here. Goodbye. Okay,